So, as I mentioned after the draft, with the Ravens having a little bit more cap space with the Lamar contract being done, uh, the Ravens, I said, were going to sign one of two corners. That being Marcus Peters, who's been here for three and a half years, familiar with the system. Or Rocky Sin, a guy who, you know, pretty decent talent-wise. He's been uh, visiting with the Ravens quite often this offseason. So it was going to be one of those two options. People were, were saying, oh, trade for Jair Alexander, but... Let's be honest, that wasn't going to happen at all, um, even if the Ravens tried. So, it's supposed to be made official soon that Rocky Sin will sign a one-year deal with the Baltimore Ravens. Don't know for how much. I'm assuming it's not going to be anything expensive. It's not going to be like Odell Beckham Jr.'s one-year deal, obviously. But this is much needed. I mean, we did go out and get a corner in the draft in Caillou Blue Kelly, but... We still needed that veteran presence behind Marcus Peters because we still had a couple of good corners after that. We just didn't have anybody who I thought would be starting material next to Humphrey. But now you get a veteran who's been at it for quite a while, has had some decent seasons. Again, nothing spectacular, but he's just nice to have next to your all-pro corner. Plus, you got the safeties. I think the Ravens, when it comes to safeties this year, are in good hands with Kyle Hamilton and Marcus Williams. It's just kind of the corner depth that they were worried about. So we'll see how this works out. But again, it's one of those ones where I'm not surprised I saw it. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of what Ravens fans were thinking. If it, was gonna, if it wasn't going to be Marcus Peters, then it was going to be Rocky Sin. And he's in, and uh, Marcus Peters is out, wishing Peters the best of luck wherever else he goes uh, from here on out, as he still has talent enough to go help a team to win now. So, yeah, that's it for this little news. There's not much to talk about because, again, it's not like a, a big-name player, but it is one of the best corners that was in free agency and we ended up going out there and getting him and getting much needed depth. And he's probably going to be the number two corner out there with Marlon Humphrey for the 2023 season. But again, injuries happen. Other things happen. So we'll see what plays out in the end. But uh, you can tell me in the comments below what do you think of this move. And until then, I will catch you all in the next one.